we stole USA's Tomahawk cruise missile, reverse engineered it and made our own cruise missile, former Pakistan Prime Minister admits. Pakistan's former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif remains a big victim of the deep state of Pakistan, comprising terrorists, politicians and military veterans. Imran Khan, who is the face of Pakistani military nexus in Islamabad's civilian regime, has been at the helm of a massive vendetta campaign against his predecessor and three-time Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif. But now, Sharif himself has started exposing some of his country's dirtiest secrets. Sharif is exposing how his country and Pakistan army have had a dubious past of biting the hand that fed them. Now, for example, he has exposed how Pakistan had reverse-engineered a US Tomahawk cruise missile fired towards Afghanistan. The missile had landed in Balochistan and Islamabad used it to create its own Babur missile. Presently in London, Nawaz Sharif is on a spree exposing every possible dirty secret associated with Islamabad. Last month, while addressing a Pakistani opposition party's conference via video link, Sharif disclosed that Pakistan was on the verge of getting blacklisted by the terror financing watchdog Financial Action Task Force or FATF because the Pakistani military leadership forced Islamabad to get involved in external issues. Nawaz Sharif explained, when we pointed out that our friendly countries were warning us about our involvement in external issues which was being done at the behest of the military, we were attacked and it was turned into a scandal. Pakistani military and external spy agency Inter-Services Intelligence or ISI has always had an overwhelming influence in the Islamist state of Pakistan. But Nawaz Sharif's flurry of remarks really exposes how badly Islamabad is infested with the influence of inimical elements. Recently, Sharif also revealed that in 2014, the then ISI chief had asked him to resign amidst Imran Khan-led sit-in protests in Pakistan. However, the Tomahawk expose is the biggest bombshell that Sharif has dropped upon Islamabad thus far. Sharif said, Tomahawk missile was developed due to Nawaz Sharif. We brought it from Balochistan when Clinton had fired missiles into Afghanistan. The Tomahawk is not any other missile, but a prized US asset that has been used by the American military since the 1990s across several war theatres and conflict zones including Iraq, Somalia, Syria, Yemen, Libya and Afghanistan. Sharif's remarks reveal that Islamabad reverse-engineered this trusted American military asset when Clinton was in power and the Pakistan-US alliance was still going strong. At that time, Washington was no less than a generous godfather for Islamabad. Yet, Pakistan shamelessly backstabbed the US to steal a top-notch American missile tech. Pakistan had then done to the US what China's thriving reverse engineering business or intellectual property theft is doing today to the US military industry. And to put it on record, reverse engineering Tomahawk is not the only instance of Pakistan backstabbing the US. Islamabad and the Pakistan military are a major contributor to the deaths of American soldiers in Afghanistan. The Pentagon believes that Pakistan would help it fight the Taliban in war-ravaged Afghanistan and therefore supplied logistics and ammunition to Pakistan army. However, Islamabad actually nurtured Taliban fighters on its own soil who would infiltrate into Afghanistan, target US soldiers and come back to find a safe haven in Pakistan. Pakistan's dirty secrets came out in the open only after Osama bin Laden was killed in Aptabad near the Pakistan Military Academy. Even then, Pakistan gave China access to a previously unknown US stealth helicopter that had crash-landed during the commando operation to eliminate Osama. Therefore, Islamabad gave away a key American military asset and that too despite requests from the CIA not to do so. Similarly, the JF-17 fighter aircraft that has been jointly developed by China and Pakistan is believed to be a copy of the American F-16 and the Russian MiG-21. Pakistan is as big a culprit in reverse engineering US military assets as China. And now, the former Pakistan Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is himself spilling the beans on how Islamabad has milked the United States of America and took billions of dollars in aid from it.